just when you think you've seen it all with New Jersey Transit. Thanks to a social media user, we found this. Yes, a bridge in Summit being held up by a jack and a metal clamp. Monica Guy is there with the story. Monica? That's right, Bill. This story was brought to our attention by a social media user who posted a picture to Facebook. We wanted to see what was going on, so we headed out to Summit to check out the train trestle over Passaic Avenue. We found out that it's being supported by a jack. Now, New Jersey Transit told us the bridge was hit by a truck back in May, and temporary repairs were done in just about two days. In a statement, the spokeswoman said the bridge is structurally sound for rail operations and motor vehicle traffic, but some riders are still nervous. My reaction is, wow, they're just going to wait until something happens to react. They're not proactive, they're reactive. You feel safe? Not on that train. New Jersey Transit is having another rough summer with staffing shortages and a major project to install automatic braking technology leading to significant delays and cancellations. Now we talked to two structural engineers who said the temporary reinforcement on the train trestle appears to be quite substantial. But that's not making one New Jersey lawmaker feel good about it. Assemblywoman Nancy Munoz says she wonders why New Jersey Transit hasn't been more proactive about keeping riders in the loop. Safety is number one. Number two is reliability. We don't have the reliability because we have every, trains are canceled. We don't know when that's going to happen. Number two, we, what, how do we inspire confidence in our safety when we see things like this? And the PTC is still not installed. And so what we have is a perfect storm setting up for disaster. Some of the train trestles in the area are about 100 years old, and a lot of them have already been replaced. Now, there's no indication of this structure's age. However, it does show signs of wear and tear. Reporting for Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy.